And now, your weather authority, Ron Young. Certified the most accurate forecast in the Arklatex. Welcome back, everybody. It is Thursday, or as we often call it, Friday Eve. Yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. We are looking right now at your Bear Creek Smokehouse, Skycam in Marshall, Texas. Note the skies are lightening up just a bit. No lightning. I'm getting brighter, we'll put it that way. Look at the courthouse, great. Look at the flag, yeah, we've got a little bit of a wind going on out of the southeast at about 15 and gust to 20 miles an hour. But the rain is out of here, the big rains that is. Wow, thunder, lightning, torrential rain. There is still an area of rain pushing south, uh, pushing to the east across the far southern Arklatex, but the clouds are gonna hang on for the better part of the day. Now I talked about visibility just uh, in the last half hour. And yes, we are right. Look at this, Dequeen 10 miles visibility just hop across the state line and Ida Bell, two miles visibility, Mount Pleasant. My goodness, I hope you don't have to go anywhere this morning. One mile visibility and remember, especially in the darkness, low beams work the best because high beams reflect the light right back at you and it doesn't help at all. Four miles visibility, very limited in Texarkana, but the rest of the area, no problem. 10 miles visibility. And you wonder why the fog? Hey, look at this, 90 to 100% humidity almost everywhere. Yes, it is. We've still got a lot of moisture in the atmosphere and it's not gonna go out till, well, who knows when. A little cold front is gonna move through the area with a few showers as we go through the noon hour. And there may be a little more development back to the west and a little shower thunderstorm popping up in the afternoon. The chance is only about 30%. And hopefully with Robbins Toyota showing the clouds, it, it really won't be a big deal at that point. 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, we should see maybe a little sunshine and then again, maybe some fog as well. Light winds tomorrow. A warm front comes in, showers and thunderstorms. This is our second system coming in for your Friday, Friday night into Saturday. It moves into the Arklatex all the way from Greenville to Canton, but watch this. Yes, it gets a little closer, Henderson, Texas, and uh, towards Paris, Texas, Clarksville. Then thunderstorms move in right behind the front. Could be an intense storm or two in the southern Arklatex, and then everything begins to drift to the north with this system. Uh, that's called an occluded front, but we don't want to discuss that right now. <laughs> as far as showers and thunderstorms, I'm going to give it about a 30% chance tomorrow and going into the southeastern and northwestern parts of the Arkland, Texas, we go through the day. Now then, as we go through your Sunday, there may be some showers to the north, but I think for the most part, we're going to see this work faster to the southeast and Sunday should be a gorgeous day across our entire area. So let's check out the seven day forecast. Today, another little squirt, 30%, west winds at 10 of showers and maybe some rumbles of thunder. All right, overnight we're dropping down to 52, but going from 71 to 78, mostly sunny skies overnight. That rainfall increases over into Saturday, 70%. Could be some rumbles of thunder, but so far no indication of anything severe nor anything with torrential rainfall. 67, wow, that front cools us down. But we go up 10 degrees on Monday with sunshine, your, our Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, progressively warmer with partly cloudy skies, and your Wednesday, the hottest day out of the next seven, 80 